Sinn Fein. Ich habe die Pauline Tolle. Three and a half minutes. Uh, Minister, last week Safe Ireland, working with 39 frontline services, have presented a new report called Tracking the Shadow Pandemic, which traces the prevalence of domestic abuse and coercive control during the months from March, which was the start of the first lockdown, to August. And the figures are stark. I mean, over that six month period, 3,450 women and 589 children contacted a domestic violence service for the first time. Almost 34,000 helpline calls were answered, which is an average of 184 a day. And during the six months from March to August, 1,351 requests for refuge could not be met. Now, service providers did work tirelessly to find accommodation in the community. But one of the main reasons many women do not leave an abusive relationship is the shortage of available and affordable accommodation that could rehouse victims of abuse at short notice. Now, according to the Council of Europe, it is recommended there should be one refuge place per 100,000 people, meaning there should be 446 refuge places in Ireland. But at the moment, there's only 143 and even less due to COVID. And that's simply not good enough. The must, this must be addressed as a matter of priority by this government. Otherwise, the number of women who suffer domestic abuse will continue to rise. Now, it should also be noticed that not everybody fleeing an abusive situation requires a refuge, but they do need options to live free from a violent partner. And so housing is the key requirement that needs to be made available to those fleeing domestic abuse. Now, one in four women become homeless as a result of domestic abuse. And in my constituency of Cavan Monaghan, there is a severe lack of emergency accommodation available to at-risk women, as mentioned just by my colleague, uh, Deputy Neve Smith. And it's a large rural constituency. It does not have a single refuge and there are only three staff employed to assist vulnerable women across the two counties. Undoubtedly, it is one of the worst funded areas for domestic violence supports and it is a situation that cannot be allowed to continue. I do want to commend the service provided by chairman who are excellent in the support they give. But like all domestic violence services are at their wits end, dealing with the level of contacts they are receiving. Now, Safe Ireland recommended that 7.5 million was needed for domestic violence services in, in the budget or in the pre-budget submission. 61 million in additional funding has been allocated to TUSLA, and I know that's not your department, but I, I, is any of this going to be earmarked for Safe Ireland, any of that 61 million? Also, within the Department of Justice, 2.7 million in what is called additional funding has been already allocated to the new strategy supporting a victim's journey, a plan to help victims and vulnerable witnesses in sexual violence cases. And again, domestic violence services may be included in this, but there's no clarity yet, and they are looking for clarity in order to sustain current services and plan for services going forward. Now, funding is allocated to awareness training, and I think that's vitally important. People need to be informed early of the signs of controlling coercive behaviour. If somebody is continually contacting you, it's not because they're madly in love with you, it's because they want to know exactly where you are at every moment in time. And if a relationship is working, one partner should not fear the other. Arguments, which every couple will have, should be about an issue and not become personal or aggressive. And nobody should be walking on eggshells in a relationship. Just in addition, Safe Ireland have consistently looked for a resourced national service development plan to be led by Safe Ireland in consultation with frontline services. Um, this services development plan will be the start of a comprehensive national and long-term response to the enormous everyday problem of domestic abuse and pressure control.